Alrighty, welcome back everybody. This is the dry dock, and I'm Ryan. And if this dry dock had water in it, we'd need an icebreaker. It's cold. I have a hard time keeping this place warm down here until I get my baseboard heating in. Um, this is video number five in the USS Antietam build, CVS 36. Um, before I get into um, what's coming up on the video, I thought I'd give some shout outs to some guys that have joined my channel and I thank them. Um, Larry from Ace Hot Rods, welcome buddy. Um, Charlie Mac, what can I say Charlie? You're the Magic Mac man. You go boy, peace out. Um, Fubar Model Yard. I didn't have a name with that. Um, nice to see you on my channel. Welcome. Um, Jeff Model Garage. Hey, Jeff. Hope everything's good where you are. Hope it's got to be warmer than here. Uh, Swisher. Uh, you got a lot of stuff on your channel. I love it. Um, it'd take me a month of Sundays to watch it all, but welcome. Um, Steve Stanred. Now, if I butcher your name, I'm sorry, Steve. Um, he's out in California. Um, just got online or back online. He uh, posted a video yesterday of standing by the ocean in 60 degree weather and holding a beer and giving a weather forecast. Not sure what that has to do with modeling. But he was modeling a stocking hat and sweatshirt and a beer. Vogue, here you come. Welcome, Steve. Um, and Scott Scherzer, I think that's how you say your name. S-C-H-R-I-E-R, -E I think that's how you pronounce it. If I'm wrong, shoot me. Welcome. Um, hope you enjoy. Hope you... Um, continue and thanks for coming over and climbing down into the dry dock with this old coot okay um, what's coming up what I have is doesn't look like I've done a lot because when you're dealing with such a small model um, small parts are really hard to work with so I've done a lot of painting and gluing some small parts I've gotten into uh, working on the island some more, painting parts for that. Um, I think I've pretty much got everything on the hull of the ship before I put the uh, deck on. Um, but we'll go over that in the video. Um, for those of you out in the East Coast, I feel for you. Been there, done that. Um, there's a couple of things on the um, instructions that I'll spin the camera around and show you some little little annoyances that pop up. So enough of my rambling for a cold Friday morning, and let's take the camera around and show us what's going on. Let's get at it. Okay, now you remember when I was talking in the last video? And in the beginning of this one, about a couple of annoying instruction snafus. Well, the piece that I was having a hard time trying to figure out where it belonged is this guy right here. If you notice, there's no bubble or pointing anywhere. It's just in this area where you're putting together the, the hull and adding the guns and the gun tubs. Well, interestingly enough, if you'll notice over here in step 12, here's the same piece. Right here. It goes in front of the island. So, little things like that can get kind of annoying, but that's why you gotta look ahead and read ahead and make sure you know where you're at. So, Okay, let's get the camera turned around and look at the model. Okay. 
I know it doesn't look like much, but it, um, like I said in the beginning, when you're dealing with such small little details and small little pieces, I've uh, put in all, I think I've got everything in now on the hull. I got all the guns in the gun tubs. This little guy was fun. I don't know what you call these things. Each I notice wherever there's a bow fin, there's a couple of these. These must be controllers. We might guess. I am not very proficient in uh, naval ship equipment. So if someone wants to enlighten me, feel free. Um, if you remember back here, which you can't see real well. Move forward a little bit. Remember back here, I said I didn't know if there would be guns here because I couldn't find them on the instructions. Well, I found 12 sets of bow fins, and they're only calling to pre make 10 sets. So I put those in. Screw it. They look better there than leaving that empty. Uh, okay. Uh, that I got done. Then. I am working on the island. Okay. So. The island now has some paint on it. Like I had mentioned before. You can see that. I had to paint. I had to paint in here. Where the floors are so this other um, bridge sits right here and then I have another bridge that sits right here so that was a treat doing that now these little guys here also have controllers in these corners one here one here and one here and I got two, I think they're 20 millimeters to go in here, here, and here. Now here's that piece that I showed you on the um, on the instructions. This little bad boy here shows a ladder. I don't know if you can see that shows a ladder right about there, running up and down there. There's no ladder there. And I've checked the photo etch, and there's nothing on the photo etch to give me a ladder. So, I'm according to, the, if we build this ship the way it shows, I'm not sure how those guys are going to get up there. Good luck to them. They'll have to swing the rope up there and climb. But anyway... Um, I think I'm ready to put the, uh, getting close to put, putting the deck on. There's some pieces I have to add to it. There's some photo etch stuff that the, uh, the towers that go on. I'll give you a little peek here as how this will look with the um, deck on. Zoom this out a little bit. It's not too bad. Everything fits where it's supposed to. I was a little worried about this guy right here. But they designed her well. It clears. Now I have towers that go up here, here, I think there's one that goes here, so I have to put, I think I'll put those on afterwards. I'll mask this off before I paint it so when I glue this on it sticks well. That piece I was talking about in the instructions looks like it fits right here. Kind of like that. So, that little problem is solved.
Anyway, um, okay, before I forget, there's a couple more things on the island here that I almost forgot about. Don't know how well you can see that. Uh, what can I put behind there? Zoom in work. That might be not be too bad. That right there is photo etch. Get my hand out of the way. That there is photo etch. Handrail. Jelly good fun. That one. And this guy. Right here. I don't know how well you can see that, but that was a lot of fun trying to get that little piece in there. So we'll zoom back out here a little bit. Try to get refocused. Anyway, um, another housekeeping thing while I'm thinking about it, I'm boring you with all this back and forth stuff, I'm sorry. I don't know how well you can see this, I'll back out. Turn the camera just a little bit. Back up. See this stuff here? It's all kind of wiped out this stuff if you spill it which this clumsy oaf did it takes off the grid cleans it right off so these are replaceable but just a word to the wise uh, another thing that you may or may not have noticed that's a towel in my spray booth cold air pours in there I have it insulated all the way up in the wall I think I need to put a run some insulation on the tube itself but that's how bad it is of course the furnace has got to kick in right when I sit down sorry about that well as you can see it doesn't look like much but that took quite a while to hand paint all that stuff and get those little pieces sanded down and and uh, especially those little controllers that go in the in the gun tubs um, while we were filming this I got another email from a Carolina Model Works and uh, welcome buddy I'm assuming you're let's see uh, hmm, West Coast no I'm just kidding doesn't say which Carolina North, South, they're both good. Welcome aboard. Thanks for climbing down into the dry dock with us. Hope you enjoy what we're doing. So, um, next week, I'm not sure if I'm going to get one out or not. Uh, we are going on vacation. I have a lot to do between now and then to get the house husband duties done. Um, so, in the meantime, feel free to blow up my comment section with all kinds of nefarious accolades and uh, suggestions. Um, I appreciate you all watching and joining me. I'm having a blast. I hope you are too. So until next time, 